losing thrust, losing thrust. Okay. Oh, I don't even know if I can make it over that tree. I hit the tree. Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve and I am a drone pilot, which means I'm certified to fly unmanned things in the air. So when it comes to RC planes, it's awesome because I'm already certified and I can fly this all over the skies. So I've been enjoying the RC plane hobby because most people who fly drones also fly RC helicopters and RC planes because we like to fly things, anything that goes in the air. So today is a very cool Canadian morning, but there's no snow. So I'm very happy that there is no snow but there are people on a field right over there and cars parked in my parking lot where I want to take off from. So they're sort of blocking some of the things I wanted to do today. So I'm going to try to work around it. Anyways, let me tell you about this baby. This is the F117 Alpha and it is by Skyflight Hobby and it's sold by Banana Hobby. That's where I bought this one. When I bought it, it was on sale. I think it was a little bit overpriced because it was like they were selling it for 250 US, but I got it for 199 US because there was a defect in it. I didn't really care. I was going to fix any defect. So I did receive it. <laughs> there was a lot of defects, more than I realized. This is made out of a type of foam that we don't use anymore because it's a really crappy foam. In other words, each time I move this from one spot of my house to another spot, I'm damaging the foam. It's very, very thin. It's not very good. Now I have made a few modifications to this and I will tell you just before I take off, but I also want to show you, it does have landing gear, which is probably the crappiest landing gear in the world because every time I put it down, it decides to put itself back inside the plane. Not electronically, it just folds up. It's not very good. So that's why I want to take off on pavement and try to land someplace where it's not going to crap out anyways we'll see i got a funny feeling this is going to end up in pieces after this flight this is a maiden so this should be quite interesting it also has bombs you can drop bombs there's bomb bay doors here and i do have two bombs in it and if all goes well i'll fly over and drop the bombs so uh, let's go fly okay so this should be an interesting flight because it's getting pretty windy more cars are showing up uh cars are appearing everywhere so uh this should be interesting first things first let's connect the battery I don't trust this little battery hatch. It just looks like it's gonna pop up as soon as I get up in the air. It's already doing it. So yeah, I don't trust it at all. Battery cable is designed to sit like this. And then you close this. I'm gonna put a piece of tape here. Not sure if that's gonna help. Now from the rear, you can see it. I'm gonna drop the landing gear. Let's go down. There we go. Wheels are down and uh, I can put it on the ground. We're almost set to take off. Oh, and a car parks right there. Well, I guess I'm going on an angle. Oh, this is not good with the wind. If I could go into the wind, I'd be happy, but it's on an angle here. So this is becoming a nightmare. I've got uh, McDonald's cups blowing in the wind. I've got a lady walking a dog. Now, one thing I've done is a little bit different with my F117 is I've made elevons. So instead of having ailerons, I have elevons on either of the uh, surfaces so I can get a little bit more lift. So when I go up, everything causes the nose to lift. So this could be good or bad with the wind today could be bad. All right, Geronimo. Oh, good, the car's moving, good. I guess he probably realized, maniac here. And look at, I got the McDonald's cup out here still. Uh, so much garbage in this park. Okay, Ron, wish me luck. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> all the best, this could, be, this could be hilarious. All right, we are all set, all systems go. <laughs> and we're doing burnouts. Ah! Do the wheels turn? This is not gonna be good. This is not going to be good. Give it a little less throttle. See if I can even get it going straight. All right. So apparently the front wheel is turned the wrong direction. Lovely. Let's try this again. I'm going to crank the wheel to the opposite direction. <laughs> try this again. <laughs> this is supposed to be the smoothest surface too. <laughs> try again. Up, 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 up. Oh, it doesn't like that. Could you? Up, 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 up. Oh, it doesn't like that. Could you? It's down. So I guess the elevons I put on thinking I was so smart, it didn't like that at all. 
I don't know if my GoPro caught it, but it, uh, it thundered in. Okay, I can see it across the road. Check it out. It appears to be in turtle mode on its back. So I'm surprised it's not in a million pieces considering what type of uh, crappy foam it's made out of. So from this angle, it doesn't look super bad other than the tails. <laughs> uh, there's some cracked fuselage, a few other things. So the investigation reveals that uh, it landed on its back. All right, so the landing gear, good, good, not so good. This is sort of hanging there, that's not good. Flip it over, let's see the damage, guys. Here, I'll flip it this way so you can see it all at the same time. Well, I, I think that's supposed to be connected. And then we come all the way over here and there we go. Motor still work? Yep. All right, so close look at the damage. Looks good, looks good. I'm surprised the wings stayed on. They're all good. It's just the uh, the tails that came off and uh, that's not too hard to fix. Everything works there. So I'm guessing the problem was probably my Elevon configuration because this plane is not designed for Elevons out of the box. They say set everything up as an aileron and set the V-tail as just elevators. But I didn't think it would get enough lift so I set Elevons and the V-tail was used as elevators in conjunction with the Elevons to give it lift. In theory, it should have worked, but it didn't work because as soon as it flew, it was like it was, you know, tail heavy, like, whoa, whoa. And then there was just utterly no control on full throttle. No matter what I did, it was, it was a disaster. So uh, back to the drawing board. Oh, I forgot to show you the bomb drop because I was supposed to fly it and you'd see bombs coming out. Okay, you see it? Watch, I'm going to drop the bombs. You ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Drop. Well, at least this tape held together the hatch. It didn't go flying out. All right, this is day two. Parking lot is free at the moment. I got to get this up flying again. I've repaired everything. The landing gear up front, I repaired that. Just bent it back and adjusted it a little bit. The wings in the back are just all glued back together. I don't know if they'll hold. And I've changed all the surface areas. So now these are ailerons back here and that's just an elevator. So just like before, I'm going to put some tape on the forward section here because this canopy is probably going to fly up. Last time it stayed closed, even after it crashed. Let's put down the landing gear so I can put it on the ground. There we go. And uh, let's plop it on the ground. A little bit of a problem with one of the rear servos. The gear doesn't seem to be working properly anymore. And I didn't bring a screwdriver to fix it. All right, day two. This is no good. I got to go fix it again. And I don't think you can hand toss this one unless you have some wind. Let me just try here. So I'll leave the gear up, put the motor on. Let me just see how much power it's got. <laughs> It's definitely got some thrust. If I could throw it really fast, <laughs> it would fly, but then I gotta grab onto the controls. I don't think I can. I don't think I can throw it. There's no place to hold it. You'd have to use two hands. You have to go on the back like this. You'd have to whip it and then try to gain control of it. All right, so the gear is messed up on this, so I'm gonna try something weird. I'm just gonna tape it in place so there'll be no more gear on this thing. Let's see if I can pull the gear back. <laughs> I know that's ridiculous. It's held on by a piece of tape that's not even held on that well. Just enough, that means don't. I won't put the gear up when I fly it. It might work, it might work. Let's see if I give it some throttle. My throttle. <laughs> ah! Now the other one breaks. Flight three, nothing but problems with this. The landing gear keeps collapsing now, so I'm gonna try it. The landing gear might collapse as it taxis and then we can't take off. Here we go. And it collapsed. Can it take off anyways? Nope. Put the brake on. <laughs> darn, 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 darn. Okay, so I'm fed up with this thing. It's a bucket of bolts, what well, a bucket of foam and some uh, glue. So. I'm just going to throw it and see if it flies. See if the landing gear even goes back. Gear up. Yeah, kind of. Anyways, we're going to toss it. <laughs> this is not going to go well. Here we go. Now, if I had a lot of wind blowing at me, I could toss this and get it up there. But the problem is when I toss it, I'm a one man show. As you can tell, I'm not too attached to this plane. It's been nothing but problems since the get go. A little bit of wind coming at me here. So I'm going to toss it this way. I'll stand back so you see a big old view of me. Problem with this, I gotta use two hands. I can't use any controls to uh, fly it. So I'm gonna shoot it away up and then grab the controls to try to control the elevators and stuff because there's nothing here. Oh, 
It's not gonna be good. It needs speed. Motor on. Okay, that's on, that's on. Landing gear, leave it up. Cause oh is that up? <laughs> Landing gear is totally messed up. Down. So not not all of it works. Up. Yeah, Gear the other down. one's toast. No oh, well. Oh oh now it goes down. Gear down. Hang on a sec. Oh I thought it locked oh it's locked in place for a bit there. Oh don't tell me it's working now. That's locked. Okay, we might be able to do it. Do you see why I totally detest this plane? So now I've got the landing gear to lock, but it doesn't work. It doesn't go up or down anymore. So as long as I don't touch the landing gear, all is well. All right, let's see what you can do. Are you gonna fall apart wheels again? Ah, it fell apart again. <laughs> Just looking at it, it fell apart. Let's see if I can lock it, there we go. Slide it forward. As long as it doesn't slide backwards, it shouldn't fall apart. Okay, here we go. Don't fall apart, don't fall apart, up, 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 up. Oh, it took forever to get up. It's up. I have no landing gear, but it's up. I'm giving it full up. Finally, it flies, it flies. It's a eureka moment, but I have no place to land it because I have no landing gear that works. Let's uh, bring it out this way, into the sun, blind the hell out of me and then around the parking lot. This is gonna be my least favorite plane. I'm surprised I have not smashed it into something yet. So let's go out in the other field where I can fly it around me because I'm gonna crash it into the grass regardless. So we get some low passes that'll look cool. Okay, I don't have a lot of cameras. I only have my hat cam. Hopefully that's working and a camera on board. So here we go. We're gonna bring it down for a low pass so you can see it really close. Try not to kill the tractor man out there. And uh, here we come, right at me. Doesn't have a lot of thrust to get back up. Whoa! <laughs> Talk about uh, not having a lot of thrust to get back up. There's no authority on this thing. It uh, basically is... Oh, ooh, come on! Oh, did you see that? I almost lost it. Whoa, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I think the battery's died. I gotta bring it back. Come on, back to me, back to me. It's going in the wrong direction. Come on. Oh my god, this thing, it's, it's going wild. Here we go. One minute. Woohoo! Okay, we gotta bring... I think the battery, because I'm on full throttle, the battery's just going... You gotta be kidding me with this full throttle stuff. Almost hitting the ground. Here we go, and we're gonna turn it around. Here we go. Pump it around really tight. 30 seconds. All right, so I'm almost out of power. I'm gonna bring it down the field. And we're gonna land this baby right in front of me and it is gonna go flying into a million pieces. Here we go. Seconds. Oh, I can't keep the nose up. <laughs> oh well, that was it. The battery ran out. It just said, I have no more thrust to give you. So that was a three minute flight on the 4S 2200 milliamp hour LiPo battery. Coming over to check out all the damage, I'm sure it is smashed to pieces. Well, I see a piece already. Everything glues back together. Oh, that's the nose piece. This goes on the nose. There's the nose that tumbled in. You can see in the back that we have the uh, elevators. They've come apart. So let me just pick this up. Put it this way so you can see everything. So I have glued this back together many times. Once again, I can glue that back together. It's not a big deal. Servos are all there. I got the connectors, the connectors, so that's good. Just means you can't fly it again now. That is just ridiculous. The landing gear stays down now, even after the crash. So couldn't get it to work before, wouldn't stay down. Now it wants to do nothing but stay down. You can get planes with propellers on them, or you can get EDF jets like this one, or you can get ones that are basically gliders. This type of plane is in the category of a piece of crap. All right, we're gonna try another flight. I'm gonna take this down the parking lot, up in the air, and then I'm gonna go walk over into the field next door, and I'm gonna to try to drop bombs near me, on my head, in front of me, someplace like that. Let's give it a shot. Motor arm. Here we go. Ooh. Gear up. A little dive over top of the parking lot. There 
Yeah. yeah. Now I gotta go run out to the field. This is the fun part. I gotta run out while it's flying. Keep my eyes on it. <laughs> Coming around. There we go. Dive down at me here. Woohoo! All right. Okay, I'm gonna get it to come from the other angle. I gotta turn it around. It's not long the flight time on this. Okay, coming down low towards me. Here it is. Looks pretty cool. And now let's take it around and drop the bombs. All right. One minute. All right, dropping bombs now. Bomb there they go. <laughs> they just went. <laughs> they blew back with the wind. I have to go find them. Now we're going to try to land it. So, this should be fun. We're going to call this the total destruction landing because uh, I don't know how she's going to go. All right, gears down. I'm going to do a pretty wide turn out there to bring seconds. it around. It says I'm almost out of battery power. I'm going to go find those bombs. All right. Oh, am I going to miss those trees? I missed the trees. Oh, it comes in fast. Look at it. Whoa, it's going in the grass. <gasps> Did you see that? It almost crashed. It almost crashed. <gasps> oh, it comes in too fast. I have to land it no matter what now. It's coming down. It's either a belly land or a gear Never land. Expired. Oh, she's losing thrust, losing thrust. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I can make it over that tree. I hit the tree. Oh, she's losing thrust, losing thrust. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I can make it over that tree. I hit the tree. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God. <laughs> I have no luck with this plane. Oh my God. That was hilarious. It was flying. It went wonky over there. Then it was flying it and I ran out of battery power just to have no more battery power to go. It couldn't pass that tree over there, those set of trees that clipped one of them. Oh, oh yes, yes, of course. It, it could have crashed on the grass, but no, it hit the pathway and then bounced over to the side. Yes, let's just add to the destruction. This has got to be the worst plane ever invented. Oh, and a wing is off. Now I'm missing a wing. <laughs> what next? There's always something with this. Is that mine over there? There's something over there. All right, so this is what it looks like. So let's see, got our fins in the back. Uh, I've lost the camera. I gotta find that. There was a camera on the bottom. That's gonna be a joy to try to find. And then we have our destructed and destroyed plane here. Am I missing more pieces here? No, that goes there. That goes there. Yeah, just, I'll just glue it back together. All right, back to me. As you can see, the plane still lives and it's it's all in one piece. It's been glued back together many times and it still flies. Now, when I look at my cell phone and I check this out on the Banana Hobby website, they call it the six channel, which is true. You need a six channel receiver in it. And they call it a V2, which is interesting because they say it's upgraded. Well, the only thing that's upgraded on this, this is like a 10 year old plane, so they just can't get parts for it anymore. So the upgrading is basically replacing it with more modern day parts, but it's still the same crappy foam and there's next to no space inside this canopy to put your 4s battery and your connector and everything else and your receiver all goes in there and then try to get this to stay closed i tell you it's not a very good plane but even though i say that there's some people on youtube who actually like this plane i'm not one of them so if you're into this style of plane i do like the style and it does look pretty cool in the air i'm gonna give you that but it's hit or miss. Like no matter where you look on this plane, there are crack marks, uh, re-glue marks, everything. But I bet you on the camera, you can't even notice them because that's the great thing in the RC plane hobby is that if you crash a plane, you just glue it back together and pretty much nobody ever notices that you crashed it. Let me just flip it over and show you the landing gear, which I fixed multiple times. So you see up front, I no longer have the housing, the doors, the bay doors that fit over the landing gear because they, they're gone. They're out in a field someplace. The wheels in the rear, they sort of sit upwards. They don't go down anymore. The bomb bay doors still work. The landing gear does work, but I don't have, once again, just like in the front, I don't have the doors on it because they've all gone flying off. But I can get the landing gear to go up and down, so that works there. It's Everything's fixable on this plane. It's just a piece of crap. And I say that because I started flying planes in the year 
2022 in the month of May, and I've had an awful lot of RC planes. I might have flown like 70 different RC planes by now, and uh, I will say out of those 70 different RC planes I've flown, this is by far the worst. It's just made so terrible. It's definitely not something that a beginner would enjoy because you'll destroy it day one. You might not even get it off the ground and destroy it just by having it in your house and the cat looks at it. So with all that said, I'm not going to put links below to Banana Hobby because I think they're ripping people off for the price they're charging for this thing. But there's some of you out there who would just love to have this. So just go on Banana Hobby. You'll see this plane. Just search for F117. There's two models. There's a super crappy model that's only four channels. It's smaller than this. A lot of people buy it and it flies like crap. And then there's this one, which is the six channel model. And this one uses the bigger motor. It takes a four cell battery, six channels. This is the one you want to buy, but it's over $200 US, at least the last time I checked. So anyways, I'm not putting links. You go check out. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is just me ranting in a video because I had time to rant it. I've never had any luck with this blade. So this was a ranting video. I don't have many of these out, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in a future video with many more reviews and, 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 you might see this out flying again because I take it out. People enjoy it when it's in the air, but uh, it always ends up in disaster. Anyways, thanks for watching. Get to the next video. Bye. Oh,